So now we have an interesting bespoke shape. We now return to the punch sheet panel and this time we go to define tool contour. You'll see we're now asked to specify a name. The whole pattern name in this example will be hexagon. Hit OK and now we're asked to enter the origin. This will be the midpoint here of this line and the shape for the punching tool. Select it and enter. Now when we return to the 2D tool you'll see over here on tools hexagon this one is our orientation is here and of course if we switch off ortho we can insert this where we desire. I can naturally now move this into the correct position by just drawing a line from here to here and moving from the end point here to the midpoint here. Let us now save the flat pattern again. And of course, we can now update our 3D model. And you can now see again by going to the ISO view, so doing 8 and enter, and switching on the realistic view. You can see our part detail has been updated. We can also now create a 3D flower. I'll switch back to the wireframe to do this. And then we go here to 3D model and 3D flower.